<laughs> We're recording. What are we recording right now? Happy news! Yeah. And we actually said we would save our New Year's Eve poppers for this moment. Yeah. Right? Now we can actually do it. And now we can actually do it, except for it's still raining. Tell them what our news is. Um, uh, Abby's friend is negative. Yeah! We're out of quarantine, and now we have no friends to play with tonight because you're at yeah. soccer. <laughs> well, we are, are you so excited? Yeah. Yes. Chelsea Very good know. news. Chelsea doesn't know. We should say that. Chelsea doesn't know. Uh, she. She might. She should know now. But Abby is holding off on telling me. She must have heard me. Oral swab. I'm not gonna say the name of the friend. <laughs> is a negative test result. Girls are very happy. I just told them. Well, Abby hasn't even sent me the results yet. Oh, so I think maybe she just found out. I don't know. Well, no, but I got well, it they too. heard you screaming. Well, she said at, she got her test results back, but her mom had already sent them to me. So, are you excited? I'm I think happy. they're more happy that... Oh, uh, they're... Yeah, they you can tell they're extremely relieved. Yeah. Um, I wish Kaylee and Abby would let me get... Yeah, let's let them let other people have those. So, we had scheduled an appointment for Kaylee and Abby to go and get tested um, tomorrow afternoon. It was the earliest appointment. We, we literally got online Saturday evening to try and get appointments for the two of them just in case we had a positive notice. In case you are, okay, let me just back up. In case you didn't watch yesterday's video, we've been in quarantine for the past couple days since basically the day before New Year's Eve, the 30th of December. We got word that of a friend of a friend's mother tested positive for COVID and Abby literally had a 20 minute time frame where she was exposed to the friend of a friend anyway. So we've kind of been in quarantine this whole time and more specifically the teenagers have been in quarantine together in their bedroom. We've been making them meals. Chelsea and Ashley want to tell their friend but you need to go finish your school assignments. Go 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 go. No you don't need my help. Go do it. Now, because it was Abby that had such a limited contact, we went ahead and quarantined her to her bedroom. They share a room with Kaylee, and so we just quarantined them, and we've been making them meals and dropping them off at their door, and they kind of have been living that. But we let them come downstairs if no one else is like in the kitchen area. They can't like sit on the couch and watch TV. They don't really do that anyway. Never. But they get the luxury of eating in their bedroom, which they've been doing like all of quarantine anyway. It really didn't change much of their habits necessarily, but they are very happy now because Kaylee can now go hang out with the guy friends and her friend Evelyn. Even though now they're back in school and they have even less time available, they are all very, very happy. So maybe when you have your friend, we can do the little air, the confetti popper. Yeah. I bought them. Should we show them? Yeah, we can do that. I bought a confetti popper and little poppets for New Year's Eve. Let me turn on the light here. We never did them because yes. it was. Abby should do. That. Abby should do this one. I bought them for New Year's Eve, but then it seemed rude to celebrate New Year's Eve with two, the two younger kids, knowing that Ch Kaylee and Abby had to be by themselves upstairs in their room all night and not get to celebrate it. It seemed a little bit rude to celebrate literally right underneath their noses. And so we didn't they do they anything. Never, like, they never come to do it. They would have come down. We would have done a whole like New Year's Eve, I mean, just our family and some of these friends that are in the little quarantine bubble with us, but we, we couldn't do anything. So we'll see if Abby wants to do the little confetti popper, okay? Mm -hmm. I wasn't planning on filming today because I there's nothing going on. And so this is kind of a fun news, right? Mm -hmm. Go to school. Also, if you have kids and they're going back to school after Christmas break, you know, it's always a little bit rough. I think they're gonna go to better, even, bed even better tonight than they did last night because they're gonna be extra tired. But if you are in the throes of kids like struggling, especially if they're younger, I'm gonna say that, and they, and you're like, how are we ever gonna get them up and going and being on a routine of school again? Or you're, maybe that's been a struggle this entire time with virtual school. I need help reading some numbers. Okay, then go to dad. I'm, dad's home today, let him help you. <laughs> so keep the structure going. They just adjust to it. If they have the expectation from the parent and the adults in the home that school is what they're supposed to do, just like in-person school. Like if that's our expectation to get up, get dressed, have breakfast, do your chores, go to school, that same expectation can be met in virtual school. And so Jason was like, I don't know, are they gonna get up and get going again tomorrow? And I was like, yes, because that's our expectation for them. And sure enough, we could hear their alarms go off and we heard their feet pitter pattering and going to get breakfast and getting dressed and we laid in bed. <laughs> 
Jason was actually up and on the couch because he was having kind of an allergy attack this morning, but it's like, if you set expectations for your kids and set the responsibility level for them, they will meet it if you expect them to. And so give your kids a chance to like kind of prove you, you know, on that and give them the chance to be responsible is my little rant. But I'm sitting here at my desk. It is truly like January, 2021. I am going through and moving files onto bigger external hard drives. I have a big one. I have a an eight terabyte hard drive that is churning away. I'm transferring data and, and trying to get a disc freed up that we can travel with and put our, our travel data on when we go on our trip next month. And also starting fresh with a clean disc for January, 2021. It's just a method of organizing my files. They're just all electronic and so I've been working on that all day today and it's churning away and I'm editing a video that we did yesterday and I'm just working in the office today so I wasn't really planning on filming. But I'll see if the girls will let me do um, a response for them, the older girls, because they're gonna be very very excited to be out of quarantine. It's just kind of funny because like they've been staying in their room this whole time but now all of a sudden when we tell them they have to be in their bedroom, they don't want to be. <laughs> So it's like this reverse psychology. I'm like, whatever. You've been in your bedroom since March of 2020. How is it suddenly like such a chore to stay in there now <laughs> that we are requiring you to because of COVID? Like, anyway, I just, I don't get it. But I'm going to get back to doing this. Stay tuned till tomorrow because I have something coming in the mail for me and I'm so excited to do it. The kids got some of these for Christmas and maybe I've already shown you in the past but I got one for myself and I'm so excited to do it. And it's a very good relaxing task that you can do. And I'm gonna sit down tomorrow and hopefully not have anything to edit. And I'm, that's why I'm trying to get this computer work done now. Cause I wanna watch a Netflix show and work on this project and just relax and chill. And I'm so excited, I'm so excited to work on this. But I'm gonna show you how to do it too. And some of the tips and tricks. So stay tuned to tomorrow's video. Cause hopefully it gets here from Amazon and I can work on it. See if you ever wanna order these from Amazon. Um, I don't, I've never seen them in stores. So everyone I've known has ordered it online. So, okay, I'll be back. Okay, what are we going out to do, Chels? We're gonna do the little popper. Okay, show them what you're doing. Do it together. We're celebrating our negative contact, <laughs> I guess. Okay, you ready? Farther down, Ash. Set. No, wait. Wait, wait I don't. Have to I think you twist it. You twist it. Yeah. You twist okay. it. Okay. What? Wait. Which way is it? You have to go oh, this, this way. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Three, two, one. Here, let me go. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that went farther out than oh, I thought it was going to go. Out. That was loud. That was. And now there's a mess. <laughs> Let the rain get it. No. Okay, so now they have little poppers. It's been too wet to do these, huh? Yeah. Even on the porch, it was too wet. Don't, Chelsea Marie, don't put them on your head. I mean, I've had someone throw me over the leg. And at a tree. Wait, Chelsea, three? Yeah. Ready? Go! That's how I wanted to start the new year, but it took us a little while, right, Jace? Mm hmm. And someone has been obsessive watching full, or The Office today. We have a few saved on. Or is it just straight is it just streaming it over and over or you saved a bunch? No, it's on cable. Oh. How how you doing down there? He's been down here quite a while today. It's alright. I did the same with a new movie that showed up on Netflix on I don't know, a couple days ago. Monarcha. I already finished it. <laughs> it's two seasons. So I can't really like make fun of him for binge watching The Office. Okay, go convince your sister to come play a game. Okay? They've like come the out of the room and out of quarantine. Now she needs to is that interact. Like the waking up job. She's What's awake. That? I go know. Con like go convince her to play. We're gonna play in the bag again. But it is amazing to watch how drastically their muse moods have changed today. A certain teenager is quite angry with me regarding quarantine for her and her sister. So it's 
quite a different story today now that we have negative results. Funny how it's my fault. Moms, do you ever have that with your teenagers? If there's a life circumstance that is completely out of your control, it's suddenly your fault when you have teenagers. Drives me nuts. Also, my mistake to buy Nutella, because now we have Nutella bowls all over the kitchen. That's just from dinner tonight. I'm like, can we just use one bowl for Nutella? <laughs> they dip their apples and their bananas and drives me insane. Jason's upstairs vacuuming because they cleaned the playroom and their teachers had them reassess their learning environment. So they kind of did a little, not an overhaul. They just kind of cleaned up their, their school area. So we're gonna play a game here and then we're gonna call it a night. Walrus. Trek. Donkey. <laughs> My gosh. That was from our first game. is doing the last of her schoolwork and daddy just dished her up some ice cream as a little incentive for, you know trying to get back into doing homework is not always easy after a two-week break but we're gonna call it a night and I'm gonna relax here in the Stampy. couch and um, ask everyone what show they're binging oh yeah what are you guys been wa binge watching because I'm I'm out of ideas at this point. Jason's gonna continue down the office pathway, but they're just gonna get, a, get to a point where there's not gonna be many episodes left on TV. We need new ideas. I do have a new list of books that I'm reading for book club. Let me see what they are here. I just downloaded two of them for January and February. So we're gonna read Almost Everything by Anne Lamott, and that one's supposed to be a, a good book on hope which we could all use in 2021. So the second book is called The Moment of Lift by Melinda Gates, which is Bill Gates' wife, and she actually reads the audiobook. So that one's gonna be fun to read or listen to. They said that those books are both only like 240 pages long, and for a uh, an audiobook, it is only a couple hours to read and listen to that book. So that's what I might do. I have a load of laundry that I'm gonna go and try and fold tonight, but that's always good to listen to a book when you're doing laundry. So that's my night. We're going to call it good. Ashley, are you excited to have our negative result today? Yep. It means they can go and have a lunch play date tomorrow. And then her friend has soccer after school tomorrow and again Wednesday. So they will get a good play date tomorrow for lunch. And I bought a space heater. Did we bring that in, Chase? Oh, yeah, it's in the garage. We bought a space heater from someone who was selling it so we can heat the garage now and keep the kids a little bit warmer when they have to play inside the garage and stay safe. You guys, that method is working pretty good. If we haven't had any kind of a, a COVID scare doing this method of keeping kids in masks and having them play outside, it's working better clearly than even 20 minutes of inside hanging out time that the teenagers had. The other day so it's working but it's cold <laughs> I feel so bad for him so we got a little space heater for him and keep him warm maybe we'll show you that tomorrow if they play inside the garage so that's it take care I hope you guys are doing good our friends over in the UK you're about to go back on lockdown I'm so sorry it's for your safety we know that you know that and but I'm just I feel so bad for businesses and even here restaurants are closed um, to inside dining and it's just kind of unfortunate though because like we find that like a lot of our friends are going to different states on vacation and, and such so that they can go and eat in restaurants and those states are have super high COVID counts so be careful try not to go places with higher counts if you can avoid it it's just it's hard. We still have to get through this, get the vaccines to everyone, and hopefully over the next couple months, things will start to get better. But until then, we're going to stay home all month. <laughs> we don't need any more scares like this getting ready for our trip. So take care, be safe. We're thinking of you all over the world, 
and we love to have you guys as friends and take care. Good night. Good night. No. Yes, it is good. No, you're not having more. No, no more, no more. You're not getting more. <laughs> you're not having more. Load it. Little snitch. That's your second bowl today. No. Yes. <laughs> you took mine. Well, I let her have it. Yeah. So she has three. Okay, good night. Can I have your phone? <sighs> Maybe.